Hi, I'm John Storms, and today we are going to be looking at uh, the Falcon F-16 V5 with the Falcon SRX-2 long-range receiver. Before we get started, give the channel a subscribe, give the video a like. It helps people find our videos. Thanks. So this is the hardware setup. So here we have our Falcon F-16 V5 from Falcon Christmas. Now this is our Pixel controller. And up here we have our four receiver ports and we are connected through the first one. So it's the port labeled 17 through 20. So we have that Cat5 cable running all the way down here over to here. This is our SRX2. This is our Falcon SRX2 long range receiver board. Uh, I have this one here too. This one's a little easier to see. So and there you see that there are eight pixel outputs instead of the four like we saw with the srx1 and that's because the srx2 is actually two long range receivers on the same board and this guy you can see i have set the selector switch to a so what will happen is it's going to be ports 17a 18a 19a 20A, and then 17B, 18B, 19B, and 20B. Okay, and then off of each of those ports, I have 200 seed pixels each, or pebble pixels, or whatever you call them. All right. So on paper, this is how I have the, everything set up. So I have the computer on the IP address 10.0.0.250, and I have the F16 V5 pixel controller at 10.0.0.9. And it's connected through one of its Ethernet ports. Then on the first receiver port, Mark 17 to 20, I have a Cat5 cable running to my SRX2. This is a Falconet smart receiver board. And it's called 2 because it has two receiver boards on one. Now, I set the selector ID dial to A, and what I'm expecting to happen is that I will have four ports on A and four ports on B, numbered 17 to 20. So 17A, 18A, 19A, 20A, and then 17B, 18B, and so on. Okay, so now let's head over to the Falcon and set it up. Here it is. Okay. Ideally, you set everything up in Xlights and then you export, uh, you, you basically load the configuration from Xlights into controller. But since I'm doing just a simple test on my lights, I'm setting it up manually. So good for you. You get to see how it's done manually in case you ever need to do it. So I am going to go to Pixel, Output Settings, Pixel. And here... I need to set up two receiver boards. Even though I only have one physical board, logically it's two boards on one. So I go over here and I have it set up on 17 to 20. So I go over to this little blue plus sign and I click on that and see that it converted it to A through A, 17 through 20 A. But I have two receiver boards. So I'm gonna click on the blue plus sign again See, and now I have B. So now I go and configure. So I say 200 pixels, because that's how many I have hanging off each one. And I hit F3, F3, F3 to just duplicate this. And then, just for fun, I put 200 pixels on port 16. And then I save this. And I go to test. And I turn those on, and behold, color wash. Ta-da! We have color wash. So it's working, and plus we have the uh, the bonus 200 pixels sitting off of port 16. So this is the Falcon F16 V5 pixel controller driving a Falcon SRX2 long range receiver board. Hope you enjoyed it.